morning everyone welcome to law sikho's thorough newspaper analysis of 9th feb 2023 coming up to the first article of the lesson from a court appointment drama from the hindu followed by the news update and the legal news coming up to the first editorial that is court appointment drama the questionable elevation of advocate l victoria gauri as a judge of the madras high court epitomizes the problematic nature of the system of judicial appointment ms gauri prejudice against minorities became evident when her past speeches and interviews came to light after her name was approved by the honorable supreme court group of lawyers against her appointment filed a petition in supreme court against her appointment this legal challenge was rejected by division bench of the supreme court the controversy indicates certain continuing structural problems with the process of judicial appointment the functioning of the collegium can be contrasted with judicial appointment in other democratic countries in other countries names of the judicial candidates are publicly known before the formal commencement of the selection process the selection process is behind closed doors where the parties involved are the collegium and the government through the intelligence bureau this not only has transparency cost but also the costs are asymmetrical it is but obvious that where the government approves of a particular candidate it can simply withhold relevant information from the collegium the root cause of the problem here is that it is important to locate the roots of the problem in the structure of our judicial appointment process the present structure is problematic both in principle but also because it is asymmetrically benefits the political executive we need is an appointment process that genuinely safeguards judicial independence from executive dominance coming up to the news update the first news, up, news update is arogya setu app contact tracing data deleted the contact tracing data from the covid-19 pandemic collected by the arogya setu app has been deleted from government databases the arogya setu app had raised some privacy concerns right after its launch in the initial months of the covid-19 pandemic in 2020 mr k m memen conferred with automotive tire manufacturers association lifetime achievement award mr k m memen chairman and managing director of mrf and past chairman has been conferred with the automotive tire manufacturers association lifetime achievement award at the annual conclave 2023 the next news update is celebrate february 14 as cow hug day animal welfare board of india the animal welfare board of india has issued an unprecedented appeal to cow lovers to celebrate february 14 as cow hug day saying it will bring emotional richness and increase individual and collective happiness the next news update is myanmar russia sign pact on developing nuclear power myanmar military led government working with russia's state atomic energy company has inaugurated a nuclear power information center as a step towards developing atomic power to fill energy shortages in the strife torn southeast asian nation k satyanarayana raju named as new managing director and ceo of canara bank this appointment takes effect immediately and he will replace lv prabhakar who stepped down on december 31st 2022 smallest main belt asteroid detected by james webb telescope nasa a previously unknown 100 to 200 meter asteroid roughly the size of rome colosseum has been detected by an international team of european astronomers using the james webb space telescope coming up to the next news update book the indian metropolis by varun gandhi 
BJP MP Varun Gandhi's new book focuses on the problems that major cities in India face and how to solve them. The next news update is Solar Team wins prestigious engineering award Queen Elizabeth Prize. Martin Green, Andrew Blakers, Jinawa Zhao, and Ewa Wong developed so called passivated emitter and rear cell or perk technology. The quartet will share Euro 5 Black Award and a trophy to be presented by the Princess Royal. The next legal update is Honorable Alabada High Court held that the object of maintenance proceeding is not to punish husband for his past neglect but to prevent destitution of deserted wife. The object of maintenance proceeding is, to pun is not to punish a person for his past neglect but to prevent vagrancy and destitution of a deserted wife by providing her food, clothing and shelter by a speedy remedy. This has been held in Bitola, Ringu versus State of UP and another. The last news of legal update today is Madras High Court. Tribunals have no authority to issue instructions on dress code of advocates appearing before them. The Madras High Court has quashed a notification issued by the Registrar of NCLT, which made it mandatory for advocates appearing before any bench of NCLT to wear gowns. This has been held in R. Rajesh versus Union of India and others. Thank you so much for the today's thorough newspaper analysis. Stay tuned.